Buddha was often asked irrelevant and pointed questions to corner him, insult him, or simply defeat him. How did Buddha answer those irrelevant questions which were not asked with honest intentions to understand the deeper meaning of life or to attain enlightenment? The story of his conversations with the ascetic Uttiya is a good example of the art of answering irrelevant questions. Once the ascetic Uttiya came to meet Buddha, after sharing the greetings, he sat on one side. He took his place and asked Buddha, O enlightened one, what is the nature of this world? Is the world eternal? Buddha replied, I have not declared so. Uttiya again asked, Does this mean that the world is not eternal and it has got a beginning and an end? Buddha said, I have not declared so. He continued with his questions. He asked, You are the enlightened one. Please tell me if the body and soul are the same. Buddha replied, I have not declared this. He was ready with the next question. So, this means the body and soul are different from each other. Buddha said, I have not declared this either. He did not stop and continued with his questions. He asked, if Buddha exists or does not exist after death. Buddha said, I have not declared if Buddha exists or does not exist after death. Now, Uttiya was agitated. He asked him, you have not declared anything in these regards. Then what have you declared? Buddha replied, I teach people what they need to know for the purification of self, for cessation of suffering and grief, for gaining wisdom and to attain Nibbana. I teach them the Dhamma through my direct knowledge and experience. Uttiya said, Very well, sir. But with your Dhamma, what proportion of people in the world will get liberated? If the entire world would get liberated, or one third, or two thirds, how many in the world will achieve enlightenment through your Dhamma? Buddha kept silent with this question. Ananda, the prime disciple of Buddha, who was present there, felt that Uttiya might get some evil thoughts. He might start thinking that Buddha keeps quiet when he is asked questions of a higher level of philosophy. He might also think that Buddha has not answered these questions because he does not know the answer. This will be harmful to him and in the long run may cause him sufferings. He explained to Uttiya, Listen Uttiya, let me explain what Buddha told you with an example. Suppose there is a fort of a king which surrounds the border of the city. The fort has strong walls and arches and just one gate. On top of that, the king has deployed an excellent guard who is very clever and alert. He permits only those individuals inside whom he knows personally and he prevents any stranger from getting inside. He continuously keeps checking the fortifications to ensure that there is no opening or crack in the fort walls large enough to let even a cat slip through. He might not think about how many people enter or exit the town, but he for sure knows that only those individuals can enter through the gate who is a known person. The question of concern for him is not how many will enter the town, rather who is eligible to enter the town. Similarly, the teachings of Buddha is not concerned with if every person in the world attains enlightenment or half or one third. He is not worried about keeping account of how many in the world would be able to attain enlightenment. Rather, he is mindful of the fact that whoever has attained the enlightenment or will attain enlightenment will be able to do so only after having abandoned the five hindrances of craving, hatred, agitation, sloth and doubt. Buddha already responded the first time you asked the question, but you asked the same question again in another way with a different intention. That's why Buddha did not respond the second time. There is an art of answering the questions. You answer only if the person to be responded to has the gift of listening. Else, it is better to keep silent and not respond to the irrelevant questions. All the questions asked by Uttiya were purely philosophical and not experiential. They were not relevant for sincere spiritual seekers to attain enlightenment. They were mere philosophies and Buddha did not entertain anything which was not related to direct experience. Buddha wanted to ensure that he does not declare anything which his followers cannot experience as their reality. He preached that everyone should become their own light and should not believe in anything simply because they have been told so by someone else, including himself. His focus was on experiencing reality and mindfulness. He taught step-by-step -step process of reaching enlightenment through his Dhamma. If you found value in this video, please give it a thumbs up. 
वी आर कॉन्स्टेंटली कमिंग आउट विथ न्यू वीडियोज ऑन द लाइफ ऑफ बुद्धा एंड द बुद्धिस्ट हेरिटेज इफ द इन्फॉर्मेशन प्रोवाइडेड बाई द वीडियो वॉज यूजफुल प्लीज सब्सक्राइब टू द चैनल फॉर सिमिलर वीडियोज ऑन बुद्धिज्म प्लीज शेयर योर थॉट्स ऑन हाउ टू एंसर द इरेलीवेंट क्वेश्चन इन द कॉमेंट सेक्शन बिलो